State and federal leaders from the USDA were in Killingworth today, highlighting ways to help local farmers. One of those ways is through investing in renewable energy, but farmers say more support is needed. News 8's Brittany Taylor has more. Good evening. We are here at Running Brook Farms in Killingworth, and this farm has gone completely off the grid. They've been able to pretty much slash all of their electricity costs. You can see behind me that they have solar panels on the roof, and they've been able to invest in this clean energy thanks to a USDA grant. These reductions, while they might seem like soft savings, they're actually critical. Becky Getch with this three generational farm in Killingworth says her greenhouse is being run solely by solar electricity. It allows the farm to slash thousands of dollars on bills. Probably 15 to $20,000 a year which is really significant for our bottom line. This was all made possible through Rural Energy for America, or REAP. It's a USDA program that gives out clean energy grants for farmers. The U.S. Agriculture Deputy Secretary was in Connecticut Tuesday underlining the need for renewable energy investments. There's great opportunities for farmers to get a little more control back as energy costs increase. It comes as the number of farms in the state continues to dwindle. USDA census data showing there's been a loss of 460 farms between 2017 and 2022. In addition to high electricity costs, finding labor has been a major challenge. The average age of a farmer in this country is close to 60. And, um, and that trend has been steadily going upwards and we've got to change that because, um, you know, a lot of people will, well, it's not that big of a, a sector, but everybody eats. <laughs> According to Getch, the labor shortage is also driving up prices for farm fresh food. We need to make a living wage and we also need to pay living wages. And so there's no choice but to translate those costs onto the consumer. I don't buy organic because it's, the price is, is just double. Congressman Joe Courtney telling us lawmakers are currently working on a bill to attract more young farmers into the sector by removing barriers like land acquisition and increasing financial supports. Politicians telling us today that more than 100 farmers in the state have applied for USDA grants and more help and resources is available through Connecticut Resources Conservation and Development. In Killingworth, Brittany Taylor, News 8.